Hello and welcome to Pandora's Box. In this tech tutorial, I'll be showing you the easiest way to back up your OpenCore Stroke Hackintosh install. Now for this, you're going to need a piece of software called Carbon Copy Cloner. I will leave a link to download this in the description below. Now once you've installed Carbon Copy Cloner, you will be asked to run a trial, which is free for 30 days, I believe. Now, I am a registered user of this, so I will start mine up. Once you've okayed the trial, you'll be presented with a window similar to this, uh, but it will have a blank task. Now, on the window here, you've got the list of tasks, and on this side, you have the source and destination drives that you will be copying from and to. So I'll begin by showing you how to create a new task. Up on the top banner here, you can either click new task or from the top pull down menu, go to task, new backup task. Either way works. And you can see in the task bar here that your new task has come up. I'm going to name it open core backup. And you can see that these have become blank. So for the source, we can just drag and drop the system drive that we're going to be copying from. And the drive that we, the backup drive that we want to copy it to. Now I have a SSD, external SSD here, which I'm going to be using. Now you can run what's called task filters. So let's say your system drive has a lot on it and it's slightly bigger than the external drive you want to put it onto. So one of the things you could do is you run task filter and you can choose items you don't want to be copied over. For instance, in applications here, I have all the Adobe Cloud um, applications. So I can just switch these all off because they take up a lot of space and I can install them later on. Close that. Click done. That is now ready to run. You can see the task has become red, show you that there are some tasks on there. And this is now ready to run copying from the system drive to the backup drive. So you would click start. I already have a task that I've run previously that is ex exactly the same thing. So I'll just click my task. It'll ask me to save this task because so, you can have multiple tasks set up. So when I click on that, it'll ask me to save the task I've already done. I'll click save just for showing you. And I've selected the task, as you can see, that I already have that has filters on it. Now, as I've run this before, this is going to take a short amount of time. As it's your first time running it, it may take anything from 20 minutes to an hour or two, depending on what your internal device is and your external devices. Mine are both SSDs, so they did, should do fairly quickly. They will also, after each time you back up, they will get quicker and quicker because it's got less to back up. So I'll click start. As you can see, it's comparing all the files that are previously on my backup drive. It won't do this for you the first time, but any other times that you do run it, it will do. So mine will run quite quickly. I'll let it run through to the end. There you go. It's done. Now for me, it was only a minute because I like I said, I've already run this once before. Once this is done, you can quit Carbon Copy Cloner. The next thing you'll need to do is to mount the EFI on your system drive. Now I'm using a quick action called Mount EFI. There is a link for installing that, downloading, installing that in the description. Um, for any more information on that, it is featured in a previous um, video that I did, and that will be linked in the description below as well. 
So here's the system EFI. I also want the EFI from the backup uh, mounted. So again, quick action, mount EFI. It always asks for your admin password for installing anything or mounting anything like this. So it's your system um, password that you use to log in. If you're unsure of which is which, if you click on the right click on the EFI, it shows the icon from the system install and on this one, the external drive. I'm going, to, I'm going to delete this EFI from my external drive and this is what you will be presented with a blank EFI. So you just copy the EFI folder across from your system drive. Boom. And then you can just close and eject the EFI from the system and I just select both and uh, eject both from the external drive. You now have a bootable external drive that you can boot your OpenCore install if anything happens when you try to do an update. And I recommend doing a carbon copy clone a backup prior to doing any OpenCore updates or system updates just so that you've got something to revert back to if something goes wrong. Something that you can boot off of. Well, I hope that helped. And don't forget to click subscribe and the bell to get any notifications of any new videos I upload. Thanks, and I'll see you again soon.